Hi guys, it's Shandi. I know it's been a while. Oh my gosh, it's been a long time. Um, I think the last time I talked to you guys, my mom was getting ready to have her surgery. And um, yeah, I think that was the last time I talked to you guys. So my mom had her surgery and that was a success. Um, I've been gone for however long because I am being there for my mom. She's going through her um, cancer treatment right now. I'm also working a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And, um, you know, family, I got sick <laughs> as I always do at the end of every year. I was sick for a while. Um, I'm still a little trying to get a little over it. I'm not back to 100 yet, but I'm almost there. Anyway, the flu hit me kind of hard. Um, I had a hot fever. It was really bad. I don't know why, but I guess I need to start drinking my orange juice and taking my vitamins because I'm tired of getting sick at the end of every year. But anyway, um, I wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. I've missed you guys. I know you guys send me a lot of messages on Instagram because um, I started back posting on there. Uh, I think I started maybe at the end of December. No, Christmas. Was it Christmas? I think Christmas is when I started um, back posting on Instagram. When I had some time. Because I was waiting on my kids to come from their grandparents' house um, in another state. But anyway, I'm just so excited to be back. Thank you guys for all your well wishes. Um, my mom is doing okay. Um, she's doing good. And, you know, she has a lot of support around her to get her through this. And she'll be back on her feet um, before we know it. So, um, yeah, so that's that. And I wanted to come on here um, for my first video and share with you. My daughter wanted me to share with you her bullet journal. That's what this is. And then I have another project that I want to share with you guys as well. So... Let's get into her bullet journal. Uh, she got this from Michaels, I believe. I don't bullet journal, so I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, but she's really enjoying it. She saw some videos on YouTube and she wanted to give it a try. She loves to draw, so uh, I think this is really working out for her. She seems to be at peace um, when she's doing this. Um, I know I haven't done a video with my daughter yet. She's been asking me like crazy when we're going to do that. I'm trying to find the right time um, to do that. And I'm trying to wait till it's a little bit warmer um, as well. Because if I do it in the house, um, in my studio, then it's just, it's chaotic in here right now. I'm redoing my craft room. And so half the furniture that's in here a good majority of the furniture that's in here is coming out and stuff is everywhere. Um, I'm going to do a pre-tour of my room and let you guys see how bad and junky it is right now. And then I'm going to um, take you guys through the process of me changing it. I set a budget that I wanted to put into this room and I'm going to finally try and get it to the way that I like and that works well for me so wish me luck on that <laughs> but anyway let me share with you my daughter's um, bullet journal so this is a cover page she has peaches and dreams and then she's got just peachy here for those of you who um, might know we live in Georgia so maybe I'm thinking that's why she did peaches um, and Oh my goodness, my subscribers. I want to thank you guys so much um, for subscribing, for sticking with me. I get new subscribers daily, even though I haven't been putting out any content. Um, just looking at my old videos, I want to thank you guys so, 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 so much um, for that. I am working on trying to put out more content, try to get a setup to where I can do the tutorials. I know I've been saying that for a while now um but like I said with the way my room is there's just no setup for that so with the new um configuration I got everything all drawn out all planned out what I'm gonna buy 
um, hopefully, um, I'll be able to. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for subscribing and for sticking with me. So, let's get to her, because I don't think this is just her list. Yeah, okay. So, November was when she started, of last year. And this is her first, um month and she used a crystal theme for this month so I'll just take you through that she has a mood tracker she used the crystals for that as well she has a habit tracker she said that um this didn't she didn't do it right or something so it didn't work but um, she's gonna try it again so and then she draws all of this stuff. This is all hand drawn by my daughter. So she's got some important dates on this side. Again with the crystals. It's really pretty. Um, she's got the books to be read up here. She's got little crystals on the shelf. It's so cute. I'm at the get her though because her books look like big toes. <laughs> I know you guys are like what <laughs> but from the way they look in the camera it just looked like giant big toes so I'm gonna have to um, tell her she need to clean her books up <laughs> she gonna be mad at me <laughs> um, over here she's got a quote to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered that's pretty go ahead Leah and then on this side it says exercise tracker and then <clears throat> excuse me she's got December this one she did a succulent theme it's very pretty and she's using my um, zig markers so I'm gonna have to get her her own because these are not uh, what I intended my markers to be used for the type of paper so I might have to get her her own set or buy me a brand new set. I asked her if she wanted these because she has Prismacolor pencils. And um, she's like, yeah, she wants to get these. So I'm going to get her some because she is using my markers up. <laughs> but um, she did a succulent theme. This is so pretty. And like I said, she drew this herself. She's working on her lettering really cute and then she has her mood tracker I love how she did this so down here she used faces um, and they're color coded to let her know how she's feeling so the green the bright green is when she's happy um, these two look like when she's feeling the, and then this one looks like when she's not doing so well. So on the 19th, she wasn't doing that well, which I checked this, um, you know, just from what my daughter's gone through. I try to make sure that uh, I'm keeping an eye on her, um, but this is a way for me to readily see that, okay, you know, I need to spend some time with her. I need to talk to her, see how things are doing, which I do anyway. Um, but for when I'm not here, because like I said, I work a lot, um, you know, or she sleep when I get home. I can just come and glance at this and she's been keeping up with this and see, you know, how she's doing from her standpoint. But anyway, over here she's got some goals. Finish five books. Ace the finals. Um, practice drawing hands. Be more consistent with religious practice. I'm not even going to touch that one. <laughs> um, important dates. And she aced her finals. Like a, this is in December, so she's already done her finals. But my daughter, for those of you who don't know, she wants to be a doctor. So she's very hard on herself when it comes to her schoolwork, sometimes too hard. But she's she's doing excellent. I'm so proud of her. 
Um, these are the books that she wanted to read for December. This is so cute. She's got this little plant hanging, plant in, you know, in the bottles. This is really cute. Um, this is her quote, and it's got, The earth put nature in my bones. I'm going to have to ask her about that one. I'm not sure what that might mean. Uh, word count goals. It's different. And then she's got January, so this is the start of 2018. And she did a potions theme, like apothecary, I think, for this one, is what she was telling me. So, she's got all kind of little things on here. It's really cool. Her mood tracker. I love this. So cool. Like, she's making me want to do it. This is really cute. Super cute. Well, it took her a couple hours to get this done. I think like two hours because she was working on this and I was working on another project. Um, books to be read. Like how she did this. She's got like little... Um, you know, like things you might put in potions hanging from the shelf. That's so cute. Some These are some of her books that she's reading this month. Really cute. This is her quote. I danced for the moon to share my love of the sun. Oh, I like that one. Candle. So cute. And then I love, she showed me this one. I love this, how she did her goals. It's like a little mixing bowl or something. And she's got her goals in the steam. Um, become more spirit, what? Spirit Valley. Oh, okay. I know what that is. Be more gentle to myself and others. Remain consistent in religious practice. <laughs> And then things that she um, wants to remember for this month is this is her crystal ball. <laughs> I'm sorry, my daughter's... <laughs> oh, boy. Um, she's got no school on Monday, but I need to double check that because the school hasn't told me that she has no school on Monday yet. They just called and told me in case of inc inclement weather, so... I need to make sure before they sitting at home when they're supposed to be in school. But this is absolutely adorable. I love how she did this. And she loves to do this. Really cute. So that is my daughter's bullet journal. So let me know if you guys do bullet journaling. What do you think? Is it fun? What do you, you know, leave some comments for my daughter. I will let her read them. And for my project, what I was working on while she was working on her bullet journal is this adorable Eeyore-themed um, TN, Traveler's Notebook. It's been a while since I've um, done a video, so I'm trying to think of what to say. But it's not finished. It's almost done. I just have, I think, one more thing to put in here, and then this will be finished. Um, this was a... This is for an order for a customer. And this is a B6. I did customize it for her with her name on the back. And I printed this on this, um, it's actually Winnie the Pooh paper that I have. Because I didn't have a picture of Eeyore that I wanted to use for the cover. So I just printed it straight onto the paper. But isn't he adorable? And I thought it would only be fitting to do this giant pink bow. And it's using felt so it can be squished down and can easily pop back up. And it's glittered felt. Since he has a pink bow in his tail. So there's a profile of the clips. Side. Little pom pom. 
So just push this to the back. It just hangs out on the back like so. And again, because it's felt, it can be pushed down. So that's another look of the cover. And then you open it up. And I haven't, um, like, oh, I forgot I had to put <clears throat> some tags in this pocket, some little stuff in this pocket. But I printed another smaller one on the pocket. And there's some bling and a clip. I did a shaker for her, some coordinating colors. Super pretty. And then, first thing I have in here is the folder. I just clipped this tag to it. Thought it was pretty. Maybe she can use it for Valentine's Day or just leave it clipped to the folder. Um, this paper is textured. And here's the folder again. And then I have some stickers and some tabs in the other clear pocket. Um, here is a gift card holder that I had made. I made an extra one of these. This is one of the ones that I showed in my video, I think. So that's what's in there. And then this is a calendar, the first insert. I think it's a monthly calendar and it shows where Eeyore lives. And it just says Eeyore's gloomy place, rather boggy and sad. Um, so this is a map of where they all live, Pooh and all the characters. I thought this is cute. It has this little bow clip that I did, this glittered bow clip at the top. And then this just is holding this closed. Um, and then I have a pom-pom attached to it. I just thought it was cute. And for some interest, I'm trying to do mines differently. And then that's the back of the 100 acre wood. It's got like a little sheen to it and then this is the this is the second insert which has this little pom-pom clip at the top and it's lined paper this paper is double-sided there's Pooh and Piglet and then there's Pooh, Piglet and Eeyore on the cover so cute so that's that insert there's the back. Again, the paper is double-sided. This is the last insert with Eeyore, Piglet, and Tigger. I also made her a handmade clip of the Zoom Zoom Eeyore. I love how that turned out. Super cute. Another line notebook. That's the inside. And then I think the image is on the back cover. And then back here, I just put a little heart. It's getting bent. And I did it on both sides. And it says, believe in yourself. Just a little reminder for her. That's the back. And then there's a little pin loop. And I'm going to include one of those target pockets in case she wants to put a pocket back here. So, um, that is my Eeyore inspired TN or Traveler's Notebook. Like I said, I have one more thing. I need to add my, um, page marker that she can use in here. Oh, it looks, this is so cute. I love this bow. So that is the last thing that I need to do for this before I send this out. I'm going to have, a, my next video, I'm going to have a couple more TNs that I'm working on for sale. Um, I've already been posting them on my, or I posted one on my um, Instagram that's already finished. So if you want to follow me on my Instagram, I will leave that information for you below and you can check it out um, before I post the video. I'll have at least three I think in the video I'm trying to get the other two finished so hopefully I'll have that done by tomorrow evening um, my family and I are going out to the movies so I'm gonna try to make it happen but anyway I just want to thank you guys for watching and stay tuned and have a happy night all right guys bye talk to you soon